Hey all, just a quick video. I went and picked up some van parts from a friend of mine. I didn't film the drive out there or spend while I was out there with him because I forgot the cable for my camera. So it turned out the battery was dead and I couldn't film anything. But I'm back home now with my haul. I just figured I would give you all a quick video showing what I picked up because I'm super excited about it. This is a friend who used to have Chevy vans like this. He recently sold off all of his vans. Um, I actually missed timed it because he was the one who was going to give me the steel to patch those off of one of his vans, but somebody came by and picked up the last of them before I had a chance to get out there. So that's uh, something else I got to acquire, but that's fine because I got a bunch of other great stuff off of it. The best one part is I picked up this chrome vintage grill that is in basically perfect condition. It has one or two very tiny dings in it, but virtually invisible. And the chrome is all really nice. It's going to polish up perfectly. So I'm super excited about that. And then he also had the chrome surrounds for it, the Chevy emblem for the front. That'll need a little bit of touch-up paint. He didn't have the windshield buckets or the headlight buckets, but that's... He didn't have the headlight buckets, but that's a easy enough thing to acquire elsewhere. I also got a set of mirrors off of one of his vans that has good glass in it, so I can throw those on so I can pass inspection without broken mirrors. Whether they'll stay on or not depends on how nicely they clean up. And then it's over here. There's a couple side markers that I may or may not use. I may go with the fancier Beauville markers instead of the simpler vintage ones. And in here I have a complete set of vintage taillights with the surrounds and the wiring harness. So that's super exciting. These are going to take a little bit of work to fit into the my later van, but they are a total they're a totally doable thing and something I'm it's awesome to be able to just get all at once. And then I just kind of took everything that he had because he was like I said he's got rid of all of his vans. That's just an extra doghouse that's going to get offered to somebody else, but I figured I'd grab it. There's an extra hood over here that again, I'm going to offer that out for sale and then give him whatever money I make off of it. There's a spare upper um, radiator core support there, which is the piece that needs to be trimmed to fit this older style grill. So I'll have a spare one to test fit and everything with and then cut up so I don't cut up my good one and then be left with none. And then way back there, you can see half of it. He had a nice heavy duty, I think it's like a 5,000 pound hitch. The hitch is going to need some cleanup and repainting, but yeah, this is all, with the exception of the headlight. He says he also had the, he has the front turn signals, which are impossible to find for this grill. He just hasn't located and so he's going to throw those in a box and mail them to me when I get, when he digs them out. But all of this stuff is basically the, the hard to find parts to backdate the van. Finding a nice grill is really hard. Finding nice headlight surrounds are really hard. The turn signals are impossible to find. And then the vintage, these tail lights are also really hard to find because they don't reproduce those. I may end up using the side markers he gave me or the uh, C10 pickups of the same era. They interchange with the same side markers. So I may get a set of those because it'll be brand new and shiny. The headlight buckets I still got to locate, but I'm pretty sure I can use headlight buckets off of almost anything. In fact, there's possibly advantages to finding some off of something else that spaced the headlight out a little differently. But either way, this is a massively awesome haul. This is a bunch of stuff that I was looking for. I knew he had the grill. I didn't realize how much other stuff he had. So this is awesome. I was going to go buy a hitch. I was looking for all these extra things. Yeah, I needed to buy side mirrors. This, this is great. I'm super happy that he was willing to give me all this stuff for a fair price. And I probably won't be installing all of this until the spring, just because it's going to require a bunch of cutting on the nose of the van and some welding on the back of the van. And I've already got the rust repair I have to do. And I figure by the time I've got that done, it's going to be well into winter. And the last thing I want to do is start cutting up the van to do that welding and then possibly end up in a situation where it's sub-freezing and I can't properly paint it. But yeah, that's awesome. I also sold somebody the tire carrier that came with this. That was, he picked it up in Hartford while I was in Hartford getting all this stuff. So that's gone. That threw a little bit of extra money in the pot and it meant I don't have an extra piece of van I'm not going to use lying around. 
So yeah, super excited. The van was the van was pretty good for the drive. The exhaust pipe turns out is a little more rusty than I thought, and the rear exhaust hanger tore out of the pipe. I think I may have damaged it moving that pipe to put the muffler in, but the replacement pipe is under 50 bucks um, delivered, so I'm going to just get that and just replace the exhaust system behind the muffler the same way I replaced the muffler, and that'll solve that problem. But I've got it patched for now, so it'll be safe and not dangerous. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.